In this video I'm going to show you how you can press into the pressure points and it kind of depends on where the pressure points are on your body but generally speaking we don't want to use muscular force to press into the points so you don't want to be pressing your arm into the point as hard as you can. It's better to allow the force of gravity to drop your thumb, your finger, your elbow, whatever you're using to press into the point to just allow that depth of connection. So let's use Heart Protector 6 as an example. You can find Heart Protector 6 by taking your three middle fingers from the ridge or the line where the wrist joint is and then you can press your thumb into the middle part of the inside of your arm just along from where those three fingers lie. So right in the center. So I could press into the point like this, but it doesn't really feel very nice. It doesn't feel particularly healing, which is of course what we're aiming to do. So I would rest the arm that I'm gonna press into the point on against my leg or against a table or a sofa, and then locate the point with my thumb or with my finger. I tend to use my thumbs. Allow the thumb or finger to be straight, so you don't want it to be bending back too much, although if you're double jointed then that's impossible, so don't worry about it if you are. And then just allow the weight of your arm to drop down, so kind of get a feeling of slumping. So you can see that I've got the pressure in exactly the same point, but I'm not using any muscular force, I'm just allowing the weight of this active arm to drop. So the force of gravity is pulling or drawing my arm and my thumb down and connecting with the pressure point. It has a really different quality. Then what I suggest is that you sit silently and breathe. And ideally you can think about the place that you're pressing. So you can feel the physical connection between your thumb and the pressure point. You can close the eyes. And then use the breath to calm the mind and focus on that sensation of connection between the thumb and the pressure point. And if it makes sense to you to direct the flow of breath into that pressure point, then you can do that. And all I mean by this is that you breathe and you imagine the breath going internally into the point that you're pressing into. Some people like to imagine this visually, so a, a light or a colour, or it could be something more solid like uh, water or fire or some kind of, I don't know, rainbow effect shooting into the pressure point. You can make it up, you can do whatever feels best, whatever resonates best with you and there's so many different things that you could imagine to connect with the pressure points. So again, do this for as long as you can be bothered. And then change sides, because most of the points that we work on are on both sides of the body. There are lots that aren't, and I'll talk through some of those at another point. But again, finding the, the points, so locating it. Having a straight thumb or finger is generally recommended, and then just allowing the weight of the arm to drop with the force of gravity. So see how my shoulder is nice and relaxed. Maybe closing the eyes if that helps you to connect in and breathing. So of course this would be different if you're pressing into the head. It would be difficult to allow the weight of your arms to drop into the head. But what you can do instead is let the head drop into the, the tool that you're using to apply the pressure. So for me it's the thumbs. So if I was to find bladder one here in the corner of the eyes, I would locate the point and we'll find this in another video. Press both, th both thumbs into those points and then just drop my elbows onto my legs or onto a table and then allow the head to drop with the force of gravity. So my arms are stable, the bones of the arms are stable, the thumb is straight and it's the head that's dropping down and relaxing into the pressure points. Again, you can focus in on the breath. You could imagine some lights, colors, 
molten lava, whatever you want, seeping into these pressure points. And that focus gives it a little bit more of a boost, some more action. And that's the same with everything, of course, in life. If you focus your mind on something, then it's more likely to have an effect or to manifest. So give it a go. Let me know if you have any trouble with any specific points. But if there's any weird ones that come up in our series together, then I'll let you know if there's different techniques that we can use.